YouTube. Welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. The Reverend, the Rhino. I just waxed my mustache, see? <laughs> kind of thick. Ah, <laughs> uh, we are drinking Budweiser. Keep it classy. Budweiser Genuine, as requested. 5% alcohol. I like this here. We use only the finest hand-selected grains. 49% rice. <laughs> A special blend of hops. In an age-old family recipe to create the perfect balance of flavor and refreshing taste. It's why since 1876, Budweiser has set the standard for quality and craftsmanship. Is that when America started? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 1876, isn't that when America started? Ah. That was the first thing they did? Budweiser? Try to stick it to your fucking face. It is stuck to my face. <laughs> <laughs> you feel right here? That's where I stuck it last time. You can feel it. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Still a fucking idiot. <laughs> You're an idiot, boy Chuck. I'm not the one <laughs> waxing my mustache on camera. <laughs> this is true. It's true. You can't see. You don't need to see. You all know what fucking bud looks like. It's gonna kind of taste like wax. It smell like wax. He's gonna have a little, little bit of an off cue here. Sure is Budweiser. Just smells like dirty shit. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> Clean shit is one we don't got to do the wipe. It just fucking pinches itself right off and it's good. That's impressive. This, yeah. That was impressive. We yeah. going on it's not a common thing, but when it happens, <laughs> it is fucking spectacular. <laughs> uh, I'll give like pseudo good wax, because if you watch the video of it coming off, not a lot of hair comes. See, Pritchard has the reverse Hitler, because the center is gone. But over here, it's just the top layers were out. But he's able to stick boxes to his face, and they stay. With vigor. <laughs> Here's what you say, with vigor? Yeah, he did. There was lots of vigor in that it's last true. one. It's true, it's true. Or you can do the... <laughs> he's also just trying to wrap Hobo with a shotgun. See it. Yeah. Yes, see this movie right here. I agree. Rucker Howard, go This old. movie, you should really see it. <laughs> okay. And we probably so, back to drinking the Budweiser. It smells like shit. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna find back here. You never know. Dust bunnies. Really? Really? You fucking went with that one. Yeah, I did. Really? I went with dust bunnies. There you go, internet. That was for you. <laughs> Tastes pretty close to water. But that's what Budweiser was brewed to taste like. Amheuser Busch did a very good job making a beer that was extremely light because they used rice, that had no beer flavoring because they used rice. I think they used rice. And was very easy to drink. Yeah. Yeah, anyone can fucking swallow this down. Whether you like it or not. Yeah. I don't like it, but can I swallow it down? Oh, yeah. Does it have good flavors for me? Oh no. It's almost like... It's almost like Boy Chuck. You could have like 50,000 of the same beer and it always tastes the same. Like Boy Chuck and it's 50,000 of that exact same sweater. Or t-shirt he's wearing. I don't fucking wear sweaters, thank you. I've t-shirt. I've seen a sweater once and it was mind-boggling. <laughs> You saw a sweater? Oh yeah, dude. Winter Even time. in the middle, middle of winter, I haven't seen a sweater. No, it's the, it's the occasional. It's the Kaz's hoodie. I saw a button-up shirt twice. Mm. That was it. Other than that, just deal with it. Otherwise, it's gray shirt, blue jeans. Mm -hmm. or, White shirt? Uh, it's even that. You wear it long enough, it becomes gray. Off, it yeah. turns into a gray shirt eventually. <laughs> or perhaps an off-yellow. White shirt with a NASCAR on it? Mm, also, yes, car stuff. Car stuff. That's a bonus. Hi, boy Chuck. Hi. Does it actually look like new jeans? Those do? <laughs> Look at them! Yeah. Are they new holes? 
<laughs> New holes in old jeans. <laughs> yes, Boychuk went out and bought the jeans that were pre holed Yeah, yeah. yeah he, the, he's the, a, he's these, these pants are brand fucking new. <laughs> he's a 19 year old girl that wants to buy a fucking $500 pair of pants that are already pre ripped. Anyway, I'd give it a 5 out of 10. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing offensive about it, but there's nothing good about it. It's your lowest common denominator beer. It's made to be inoffensive. It's made to not really have a taste. And you know what? It. That's what it's made to be. Yeah. Drink it, get drunk if you want to. Yep, don't drink.